Hi there. In the previous video, I demonstrated how to program a Yaesu FT60 using both the Chirp and RT system software. In today's video, I'll cover how to program a Yaesu VX6R. Like the FT60, the VX6R has a similar process for programming the radio using Chirp and RT systems. I won't be going into detail how to program frequencies in the software since I covered that in previous episodes. However, I wanted to show you the steps for getting this specific HT to communicate with the software. As mentioned in episode two, the VX6R is a rugged radio and I like it so much I chose it as my primary HT. The VX6R is capable of being submerged in three feet of water for 30 minutes, has a 900 channel memory capacity, and like the FT60, can be charged with an external USB power cable. As with the FT60, I was able to source this third-party programming cable from Amazon for use with Chirp. One of the interesting things about this radio is the speaker mic comes out of the top as opposed to the side as with other radios. The speaker mic is also a sealed port and if you'll notice on this particular programming cable, and I believe this is the same with any mics you plug into it, uh, the plug is partially threaded. So when you go to program the radio, you'll need to guide the end of the plug into the radio and then screw it in place. And the easiest way that I found to do that is to unscrew the antenna, unscrew the cap for the mic port, Insert your plug, press it firmly, and then just turn the radio, and you can just do it hand tight, but uh, as you can see, that's on there. Unlike the FT60 and FT65, the VX6R does not come with a charging cradle, but you can uh, purchase one from Amazon if, uh, if you want one but I find that the DC port on the side is sufficient. The VX6R is a tri-band and it will cover the 1.25 meter, 2 meter and 70 centimeter bands where the FT60 only covers 2 meter and 70 centimeter. It also has four power levels for 2 meter and 70 centimeter, which are 5 watts, 2.5 watts, 1 watt and 0.3 watts. However, my understanding from reading through some online reviews is on the 1.25 meter band, the highest power rating is 1.5 watts. I won't go into detail on all of the specs, but for those of you who are interested, I'll leave a link in the description below detailing them. Now let's take a look at the steps for getting the VX6R to communicate with Chirp, and I will walk through these steps just briefly. You will press and hold the FW key, and while you're holding that key down, press the power button, and you will see clone on the display. From the software menu, you will click radio, download from radio. A window will pop up where you can select the COM port, radio brand and model number. Once you select the information from that dropdown, You'll click OK. After you click OK, then you will press the band button, and then you should see TX on the display. So I will do that now. I'm going to hold down FW, press power, and I see clone. I'll go to the menu to radio, download from radio. I have selected all of the correct information from the drop down and then I will click OK and then press the band key. And now I see TX on the display. And then once this completes uh, transferring the data from the radio to the software, as in the other videos, uh, we should see in a second the frequencies that were programmed in the HT. And then the process to upload to the radio once you modify your code plug. Uh, what you'll do is you'll go to radio, click upload to radio, you're going to press the VM key, and then on the display you'll see wait, 
and then you will click OK on the uh, software and then it will transfer the updated code plug to your radio. So I'll do that now. I'll go to radio, upload to radio. I will press the VM key and I see wait and I'll click OK. And on the display I see RX and on the computer a window has popped up and I see cloning to radio letting me know that it is writing that data to the radio. And that is all there is to programming the VX6R with Chirp. Alright, we're switching to black coffee. So the process for programming the VX6R with the RT system software is the same as it is with Chirp. However, as in the previous videos uh, where I demoed the FT60, one of the helpful things about the RT system software is it displays the instructions on your computer screen. Also, the programming cable that uh, comes with the RT system software is different than from the previous programming cable I just showed you because uh, this one does not have a, a threaded port. So all you're going to do is just plug it into the microphone jack and then plug it into your computer. So now we'll walk through the same process. I have the software up, the radio is plugged in to the computer with the RT Systems programming cable. And so from the menu, we'll go to Communications, Get Data from Radio. And then you'll see the instructions come up, uh, letting me know to hold down the FW button and then press the power button. So I'll do that. I'll press FW, hold down the power button, and the display shows clone, and so I will click OK. It's telling me to press and release the band button. And on the display, I see TX. And then when we go to upload, we'll go back to communications in the menu, click on send data to radio, We'll press the VM key, wait will be uh, displayed on the radio, we'll click OK, and then it should write the data to the radio. OK. so. Now we want to write to the radio, communications, send data to radio. Again, we'll see a pop-up with instructions. So what I'll do is I will um, press the VM key. I see wait, and I'll click OK. And you can see that it is sending the information to the radio. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.